Welcome to the best game ever made. Best game ever made, aka a uh, subway rat simulator. <laughs> You may think I'm joking, but I am definitely not. You play as this itty bitty little creature called a slug cat, which is the cutest damn thing I have ever seen in my life. And the main reason why I like this game so much. Well, one of the main, one of the main reasons. There's more than one reason. And you are just trying to survive in a world that's much bigger than you are. Uh, we're not dying too often. Which is easier said than done because this game is also the hardest game I have ever played. I know it doesn't look it. But believe you me, I have never died so many times in a game as in this one. Yep. Goes the Remleys. There we go. Tutorial officially over. All right. Give me, there we go. Give me the bat flies. Okay, fall up, you can go away. Hold on. Is that a spear? It is. Cool. Let's judge the jump a little there. But I also have just played the uh, plain campaign. There are a bunch of different campaigns that you can play as this and each one gives you a different slug cat with different abilities and or stats that you can play as. Changes up the gameplay a lot depending on which one you're going with. Hello. Ah yes the first predator. I <laughs> threw it in the complete wrong direction. Okay. I just stabbed the bat fly into your hide. Hope you enjoyed that. I has no rock to throw at you to flip you over from the front, so frick it. Confrontation is not the way to survive this game in any case. As a seasoned Rain World uh, veteran? Veteran seems like the right word. I'm not exactly a pro. I only played this for what, 200 hours? That's not pro status, not yet. Not yet. But yeah, as a seasoned Rain World veteran, I know many of the ins and outs of this game. Not all of them, but many. Case in point, uh, how to very quickly avoid things like that from happening. In theory. Okay, words are in, in theory. This game is kind of insane, honestly. Like, I know it doesn't look like much. It just looks like, you know, side-scrolling side Metroidvania, Metroidvania type game. It's not. <laughs> it is basically an entire simulated ecosystem. Every creature in the game has its own set of behaviors. Different ways for you to fight them or avoid them. Like, here, take these lizards for example. These lizards are the most common enemy type in the game. They come in several different types and each type has their own abilities. The green guy, like the guy who's in the pipe right now, uh, they are big, they are slow, they are clumsy, they cannot climb up poles. But they are very tanky, they have a lot of health, 
And I think they have a stronger bite as well. Whereas these pink guys, yes, the reddish one is pink too, technically, are a bit smaller. They have a bit less health. But they are capable of climbing up holes, like you can see from that one there. And there's a whole bunch of others that can do all kinds of different things. And that's just one type of creature in the game. There's a mega crap ton of things here. Things to avoid, things to fight, things to eat. Things to trade with once you find scavengers. I'll point those out to you guys later. All kinds of things. And you have to learn the ins and outs of all of them. If you want to make it into the farthest reaches of the game. I do not know why I was running this. Anyway, I am going to be going through uh, the recommended progression for beginners of the game, just to show people what it's like, because there are not enough people playing this game. I don't know, I don't care that there's like several, probably like thousand Rain World videos on YouTube at this point. There is never any such thing as too many Rain World videos. We need more Rain World. So, yeah, I'm just going to be showing you guys how uh, how the game recommends you progress through it the first time. And maybe a few tips and tricks along the way, like uh, how to fight these guys. Okay. Tip one, uh, throw rocks at lizards to flip them over so you don't just hit their armored heads when you're trying to fight them. And then, uh, stab them multiple times. Stab them too many times just to make sure they're dead. <laughs> you can never be too careful when you are a small and squishy slick cat fighting something much bigger and much less squishy than you. Already got enough to hibernate. So I don't need the popcorn plant, I think. I'll show you guys the popcorn plants eventually. For now, let's just eat these guys. Wow, that guy gets some time. You two, uh, just do your own thing down there. Let me throw. May as well get an extra pearl. White pearls are basically just, uh, currency. Specifically, they're currency for... The only other sentient creatures in this game, uh, the scavengers. Something moving over there. I saw something moving over there. Okay, it's just bat flies. I think we're good. Oh, there is a lizard up here. Oh, actually. Here. Let's... One of these, this is a scavenger, uh... Armada over here, basically. They make explosive weapons, which is handy. Especially for taking out these guys, because those things can one-shot most things in the game. Can I... There we go. Two lizards down already. I'll show you what these things do. These are firecracker plants. They're 
cherry bomb plants, or whatever you want to call them. Lizards are very sensitive to noise. Fair portion, fair number of things are, actually. So, what you can do... Is you can throw them at lizards, and the loud noises will temporarily scare them away. Oh, there we go. See? Kinda worked there. Uh, that! That thing right there that I just stabbed, uh, is a vulture. They are the apex predators of the game. One of the apex predators of the game. They're the apex predators in the survivor's, uh, campaign. They are pains in the ass to fight. As is that guy. Karma Lizards are a new addition. They came in with the DLC. Uh, they launched themselves, as you saw, a good deal away. They can be very annoying. Oh god. Go away. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay. No, thank you. No, thank you. I do not want. <laughs> Spear, give me. Let's see, pop these bubble fruits. May as well get mostly fed before I head out. Food respawns uh, whenever you leave an area, as far as I know. Or within several cycles, which are the periods of time you have in the game. That's what that timer down in the corner is, little circle of dots. Shows you how long you have to get from one save point to another. And if you go over that, well, uh, the next one can die. To rain, specifically. There's a reason this game is called Rain World. Don't have any spears to hit those things with, and I'm mostly full up anyway, so I can just get going. You guys not? Can you not and say that we did? Hey. Get off me, leech. No. No leech is allowed. This is a no leech zone. Oh, there's a scavenger. Hello. I forgot how funky they look while they're swimming. Oh my god. Hi. You're gonna get drowned by the leech just gonna keep that up, buddy. My god, are you looking backwards? Run, dude! Hey! Leave him alone. Run! Okay, hopefully that does not give me like a negative rep with those guys. Thank you. There you go. Have a nice leech meal on me, buddy. Some spears down there. As well as some mushrooms if you want to get high. I am not joking. I'm also not going to waste resources, though. Well, I rarely ever use these things anyway, and I am on Survivor, not the mod, so. Yep, see? Hi. <laughs> I've got plenty of time to explore. I'm on a new save file, so. 
filling up the map again as I go. Ah, hello there, lizard. You're looking a little discombobulated there. Come in. Oh, there you go, that works. Hello there. Goodbye. No, thank you. I want absolutely none of that. Yeah, sphere that time at least. Okay. Let's go ahead and head back the way I came and get into the midway shelter. Oh, good, there's vultures. Are you gonna move there, buddy? Okay, uh, this way. This way I go. And you know what? Oh, there you are! Hello! Are you gonna come back out? I've got a present for you. Make up for, uh... Not being able to... <gasps> Ooh! Once the cycle's over, though, you can't uh, eat from them again. Let's see. You know, it's close enough. And I am basically right at a shelter. So, I could just stay here for a bit. And show you guys what I mean when I say the killer rain. Oh, hello. Hi there, snail. Where did you come from? I thought you were an egg for a second, even though I know that there's not eggs in the game. Yep, those things pop. I want some pearl. Ha! Alright. There we go. There's the rumbly started. Get right above the shelter. Okay, just go straight down so this gets too dangerous. Rain hasn't even started yet, it's just about to start. There we go. Cats are death worlders. And they still die here uh, a ton. <laughs> Just because I haven't died yet doesn't mean shit. <laughs> I'll go ahead and leave that pearl there. Oh! Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Is uh. I'm gonna be getting another pearl on the way to the toll anyway, so here. Calm down. Here. Over here. Man, a whole bunch of you just freaking exploded. There you go.
Hopefully that'll at least keep you from having any kind of negative reputation with me. Because if you, like, attack scavengers, yeah, that'll give you a bad reputation with them. Uh, but also, if you don't save them from a creature they have been snatched by, that's also a way to get them upset at you. Pardon me. Oh! They'll also attack the, uh, little wormy dudes. They don't like them. Little wormy dudes are called overseers. And they belong to critters. Or I guess critters? People? You will meet. <laughs> I like how they go all foggly eye when you move too fast. Look at that one with the red pupils down there. You see how small they got for a second? These guys are funny little monkeys. <laughs> I love them. Except when I don't, and then I hate them. Let's go ahead and... Get across here. This is definitely the safest route. Those leeches, those sea leeches down there, are much bigger and heavier than the other leeches. If too many of them latch onto you, they will drag you down. The red ones do the same thing, but it's harder for them to do that. Uh, stick that in my stomach. Slow cats can bore them and destroy them. Yeah, that's a thing. Oh god, why did I phrase it like that? Why did I have to phrase it like that? Oh my god. <laughs> I hate it. Huh. I've never actually stayed to watch those little slideshow images that they give. So that's new and exciting. Alright, it's time for the water level. Hello first. Hey buddy, want some help getting to the water? Let me through. Let's both through. There we go. Thank god for jumping. Cause there be monsters waters. But I want absolutely nothing to deal with. Nothing to deal with. I want nothing to do with them. There we go. Um, I think I have enough time. To maybe snatch a jetfish and get to the next shelter after this next one. There we go. These guys make traversal very easy. Although steering can get a little funky. And they are too heavy to carry up tall ladders like that. Hello, snail. Not usually one of you there. You got you wandered pretty far. I didn't actually see any predators that entire time in shoreline. That's kind of impressive. They all must have just wandered off. All right. Right. It's the first path. The way to get to the next area is up that middle path, but there's one thing that I want to show you guys. Only because it's probably the way that the uh, overseers will meet you the first time you're actually getting through the game. Ah, there's the threat music I was wondering about. Let's 
get nature's equivalent to a taser. They even eat it. Edible taser. Oh, and there goes some of the sea leeches. Just need to get through to land. There we go. Not so tough now, are you? Still getting the hang of all the movement tech. You can, like, press jump while you're in the water to give yourself a little boost. But that uses up your breath. So, easiest way to swim is apparently to wiggle in the water. Like you're paddling with your tail. And I can see it. I'm seeing some speed boost if I do it right. But I don't always do it right. There we go. Welcome to Looks to the Moon. It's both an area name and a person's name. Or I guess it might be more accurate to say that the uh, person is the area. And no, that's not a joke either. I do not joke about this stuff. Rain World lore is not something to joke about. It's apparently supposed to be a way to skip across the uh, holes, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. There's an insane amount of movement tech in the game. Ah! Oops, I tased myself. <laughs> no music playing. There we go. Hi, Moon! Hi, how you doing? Nice to know. Alright, I'll come back later when I can actually understand you. Anyway, yeah, that's, uh, that's Moon. She is being drowned on the regular, but still alive because her creators were ticks. No, you're got, uh, you're not getting any more explanations than that. But yeah, I'll explain more about Moon once they get to her uh, brother's location. Because yeah, there's uh, more than one of them. There's more than one creature like her in the game. There's two total. At least two total that you can meet. There are more way off. They're called iterators. Anyway, let's see. Um, I think I have enough to get back to that sleep shelter. And even if I haven't, uh, as long as I die somewhere close to it, I'll be able to pick a karma flower up and save my karma. And I will not have lost much progress. And that way I won't need to visit Moon again to show you guys her. To her. To show her to you guys. One or the other. Hey, buddy. <gasps> oh! And that right there is why you don't go near deeper water if you can help it. Like, ever. <laughs> Say hello to the Leviathan. AKA Giant Biomechanical Horrors uh, Beyond Slug Cat Comprehension It can and will crush everything It isn't them into a fine paste If they get their jaws on Hey, let me grab you There we go Oh, there's another Biomechanical Horror Oh god, there's another one 
Why is there a second one? Thankfully, the jellyfish are making it to bad enough. So that could have been a lot worse. Let's get the hell out of Leviathan territory. What is that leech doing on the wall? Alright, I went down this one. Almost perfect timing. And there she is! Hi, best robot. Now, it's time to make it to uh, the worst area in the game, arguably. Certainly my least favorite. Thankfully, all we gotta do to get there at a reasonable speed is head up through here. Hopefully without dying. I saw something go soon. This was an, uh, this was Hunter. I might think that that was a pink vulture, but nope. Why are there no leeches over here? There's usually leeches in these little pockets. Did that get changed with only higher difficulty stuff, or is, just, is there just something weird going off the spawns this time around? <laughs> Didn't even notice me. Haha. <laughs> you guys are dumb. Alright, gotta get to at least a midway shelter. We'll see how much time I have as we get there. As long as you're quick and you know the route beforehand, which I kinda do. Kinda, being the keyword. This region is fairly easy to get through, but you definitely need a lantern if you want to do it unharmed. And even then, a lantern only gives you temporary protection. 